Hi students, today I am going to explain to you about uh, some questions on relational algebra. Okay, uh, so in this, uh, hope you all have seen the first two videos on this relational algebra which I have sent you. Those who have not yet viewed the videos, kindly go through them so that you can be so that you will be familiar with the various operations used in this. So fully, when you are familiar with this, you can do these questions properly. Okay? And uh, one question you can do in different ways. So don't think that when I am writing an answer, that is the only method of doing that question. You can use your own logic for writing this expressions. Okay? Only in the syntax and the method of doing should be the same. Logic can be as like as which you find perfect for the question. So uh, that is there. That flexibility is there when you are writing this relational algebra expression. So kindly go through the videos and be thorough in these expressions and these in these operations before going for going uh, to do these questions. Okay. So now due to time constraints, I am not going to the explanation about various operators. We will directly go to the questions. So first, we just read through the question. Here, it is consider the following database with primary keys underlined. These are the table names given, and these are the related attributes. The key, keys are underlined in these tables. So now we will go to the question. There are three tables in all: supplier, parts, and catalog. So just see the question. First one is find the names of suppliers who supply some red part. So when a question like this is given, first of all, see which all attributes we require. Okay. So in this question, they require the supplier name, which is there in suppliers table, and they require the color, which is there in parts table. Okay. So these two attributes are required: one for the selection operation, the color is for the selection operation, and the supplier name is for display. Actually, these two attributes are required for the processing of this query. So, uh, just see these two tables. We have no direct connection between these two tables. So, we require this third table, which is having the key values of supply table and parts table. So, only if we are joining these three tables, we will get a connection between these two. So, first, when you are writing an expression, you will be going from the right side to the left side. So first we will be joining the required tables, then we will apply the required condition and then we will do the column filtering on the project operation. Okay. So in this, first we will have to join the, uh, these three tables, only then we will uh, get the required attributes. Okay. So that we will be writing first. And remember, we can join only two tables at a time. So just uh, pair it and write. So first we will write. Catalog. Join. Catalog join. Parts. In this, you can write either parts or suppliers. Okay. The result of this join operation will be will be another table. That table will be will be joining with the supplier table. So the first operation is over. We have joined the tables. Now we will apply the selection condition using the sigma operator. What is the uh, condition? Color is equal to red. Okay. Supply some red parts. So our condition will be color is equal to, since it's a, it's a string value, give it in single quotes, color is equal to red. And just make this subscript. So this is over. And just close it with the brackets. Then we write the next operation, which is the project operation. We can also make it subscript. 
So the relational algebra expression for this query is as follows. We have written, first we have joined the required tables, then we have applied the condition, and then we have filtered and taken the necessary attribute for display. Okay. So final thing we require is the, sorry, on the SID, it is the SD. So we have SD. So we have got the required result. So this is how we write the query for uh, um, means relational algebra expression for the first question. Now we go to the second one. So in this, what we require is SIDs and part colors. Okay. So SID and part color. We require this attribute and this attribute. Um, but here we doesn't require the supplier table. Because uh, here parts and catalog we have a direct connection and SID is also available here. We uh, just need the SIDs for displaying. So we need to join only these two tables. Okay, the catalog table and the parts table. So here we write. The question is who supplies some red or green part. So here I'll be going, I mean, I'll be doing it using, using the union operator, set union operator. So, first, uh, let's keep the joining of the tables. Here we need only catalog and parts. Okay. So, first we have joined the tables and then we will go for the condition. Initial condition is Sigma color is equal to red. And what we need to display is the SID. Okay. So this, this portion alone what it will give, it will be first combining these two tables. Then we'll apply the condition color is equal to red and then on the resulting table we'll do the column filtering and we'll take the SIDs. So this portion will give the date SIDs of supplier who supply red parts. But the question is who supplies some red or green. So here uh, the set union operation what it does is if we are given two tables it means union uh, what the union operator does is it will take the data which is either in the first table or in the second table. Okay. So those two cases. So here we can go for the union operation. And the same thing we can repeat. And here just replace it with green. you will get the required expression because that is the condition given who supplied some red or green part. Okay. Now, what is the next question? It is find the SIDs of suppliers who supply some red part and some green part. So here it is given, um, it should be the common common SIDs. Okay. So the suppliers who supply both red and green parts. So you can use the same expression here. What will be the only difference? You will just have to replace this union with the intersection operation. Because the intersection operation gives the common columns or common values. Okay. And this this expression you can write in another method also. Since it is an OR portion, you can just combine this color, uh, the sigma condition into one and you can just write it in a single method without using the union operation. Okay. So you see this. Take this. And here. You can give the OR operation. Okay. 
So this also will give you the same result. That is why I told you uh, any given queries it can be written in uh, n number of ways. So it depends on the logic you are using and only thing you should get, get the correct result and the operations result should be means operations applied should be in the proper way. Otherwise there is no means no like there is no definite method there is enough flexibility in writing the relational algebra expression. But here uh, if you think of replacing this query with this sort of an expression uh, like just think if you are writing If you are just writing this here, and here if you are This I have uh, written instead of the AND operation. Okay, so here um, I have just replaced this expression with this. So what does this expression mean? So it will first join these two tables. Then you are applying sigma color is equal to red and color is equal to red. Color is equal to green. So what does this mean? Is here we need the supplier IDs of parts which are both in red and green color. So it conveys totally a different meaning and it doesn't give the same result like what is meant here. It supplies some red parts and some green parts. In the question we need the supplier IDs of suppliers who supply like red parts and green parts and not parts which are having both red and green color. So if we are writing it in this way, it, it uh, refers to SIDs of suppliers who are supplying parts which have both red and green colors together. Okay. So, based on the question, just analyze the question well before writing an expression because in some th things, just um, a, a variation in the order or replacing some things with another operator, it will change the entire meaning. Okay. So, be cautious on that and otherwise you have good flexibility in writing the relational algebra expressions just use your logic and then and if you are familiar with the operators then this writing relational algebra expression is not a big thing okay you can um, just by practice you can just improve and you can go on that, uh, doing it so just try your own questions and uh, please just, uh, let me know your suggestions and feedbacks okay so hope you understood how to write the relational algebra expression for these sort of questions. Thank you.